What is up, kings and queens? Uh, it's your boy, Notorious MSG, and today, continuing with our lineup video, uh, this week we're going to be doing Breeze. So, buckle in and let's begin. Alright, starting off on Breeze, we're going to plant the right spike here. right here. Spike uh, normally, this is where I plant when I have to rush out. I just want to play lineups so I don't have to focus on killing or anything. Um, right right here. here, right here, and right, right there here. smoked off. I'm going to call this uh, A plant default close to A main, just to make it kind of clear. So the first one, the most common one I do, is going to be set right here. You're going to line up in the middle of this plank. You're going to aim at this AC unit. It's going to be used in a lot of different lineups. So you're going to aim at this AC unit with the tip of the molly icon. Molly! Fire it. It's going to fly off into the sky. It's going to bounce off, land right on top of the bomb. Very easy. I've clutched so many rounds using this one. Nice and easy, simple one. Next one uh, is one that I just started working on. So we're going to go in this corner. You're going to be using this leaf as like you're pretty much your landmark. So you can, there's two variations of this. So if you use the tip of your molly, the little dot, this molly. one that you shoot it lands a lot faster. It's pretty much immediate. Boom. So you can peek from A main. Uh, and the second one has a little bit more of a bounce, so it gives you some more time depending on how much you need. So same thing, same leaf as our landmark. This time instead of the dot, you're going to use the reticule for the molly. molly. As you shoot it, this one's going to fly up gonna bounce instead of immediately and it gives you an extra bit of time to kind of run out of peak. Uh, you can kind of play around with that. That's one that I found um, recently. Next up we have two from mid. You always got to be able to mix it up because uh, people will start running down a main trying to get you so I've been trying to create some more. Um, so here you're gonna meet at where the plant meets the AC unit or this box. You can take the dot of your molly icon just like we used earlier molly. you're gonna fire it it's gonna go up it's gonna land on the ledge bounce and land perfect nice and easy lets you run up through mid doors so you can take the fight next one we're going to same spot wedge yourself into this corner you're gonna take your stim beacon icon and cover this left ac unit right here so this left unit we're gonna just completely cover it with the stim beacon molly this one has a bit more of a bounce uh easier blocked but Kind of gives you a quicker landmark in case you don't have time to really be so exact. Okay, and then the last one for this, it's going to be in this right corner here. right here. Okay, you're going to be aiming at this line right here that kind of lines up with this porthole. Uh, using the left squiggle of your HUD, Molly. you're going to fire it off. It's going to fly up. It's going to bounce and bounce. Nice and easy. Um, if I'm playing defense and I know that they're running pretty quick because, you know, people kind of just like to run and gun, I'll shoot this preemptively to kind of stop the plant. Okay. Um, moving on, we'll have moments where you'll be pushing in through mid and you're going to have to just shoot. So if you just barely aim above this and fire, Molly! it'll go over, land exactly right on top. Uh, that's super quick in case you're like, oh, you're like, oh crap, I got to stop the defuse or stop the plant. Just run up there, shoot it, and it just kind of scares the opponent off so you can kind of take the fight, if anything. All right, moving on from that. So we're going to take this. We're going to move spike. it where spike the secondary plant normally happens. This spot is also pretty common. You smoke all that off. Uh, you feel pretty confident. You already have back sight, so you're going to plant here. Uh, a couple spots for this as well. So for the first one, same spot in the beginning. Uh, this one I always use all the time. You're going to use the left side of this AC unit. Molly. Fire it. This one is a little bit harder because it's if you mess mess it up, it's gonna bounce off the pyramid and mess up. But if you do it right, it'll barely glide over. Um, nice and easy. From the same spot, you can aim at this instead with the tip of the molly icon. Molly. This one will fly up, bounce. And land right next to it as well. Um, this one's going to be used in another lineup for another spot that I wanted to look into. Okay, for here, um, you're going to be aiming at this, this little spot right here, with the dot of the Molly icon one more time. Molly! Fire. Once it's up, it's going to soar, it's going to bounce, and land perfectly in the middle. Once again, we're going to use for another lineup that I want to talk about later. Okay. Um, last but not least, there's one more spot for this. 
Uh, but this one is a little bit more exact in Got the where spike. Enemy spike planet is right there instead. Um, this one is a very, very hard lineup, so please practice it before you attempt it. Uh, I've lost so many rounds trying to do this one because it's very, very strict. So this is your marker along with this. So you're going to take a two, twofer. So you're going to take your left HUD. You're going to line it up as close as you can to where they're touching both of those markers. So at the very edge, along with touching that little dot, Bally. you're going to fire. The reason why this is hard is because it's going to fly up. It's going to bounce. It should bounce off there, land there, and land exactly right there. If you are off by just maybe a little millimeter, it won't bounce off the edge. It'll just hit here and then land right there instead. And I've lost a lot of rounds getting very confident thinking that that was the, uh, the lineup that I had. All right, moving on from Backsite Pyramid, um, with the new patch, we can obviously, that breeze has opened up. So Spike this drop. would be considered a viable planting spot. Uh, there's a couple mollies that we worked on earlier and two more that I wanted to show you. So from here, once again, if you aim at this little corner of the AC unit, you're gonna fire it off. Um, and this will cover pretty much behind Pyramid and open plant as well. Nice and easy. Okay, next one. We're going to go into our back corner outside of A main again. Same lineup as before, so using the corner of this grass along with the dot of the model Bally. icon. Gonna fire it up. It's gonna bounce and land right in the middle, covering all of that. Okay, we're gonna go back mid. Uh, like I always said, I love to mix it up. So here we're gonna jam ourselves into this corner again. And then you're gonna use this flower as your landmark. Take the right tip of your molly icon, put it in the center of the flower, and you're gonna fire it. This one's gonna bounce. It's gonna land flushed right next to the bomb, and they won't be able to stay onto it. Um, please keep in mind, it'd be kind of hard to hear the bomb, so please communicate with your teammates. I wouldn't use this in a one versus one. And this one is one that uh, I created. This one, you definitely cannot hear the bomb, so you have to use it in conjunction with your ultimate. And as you scoop back, you, sh you fire off your ultimate, or your teammates let you know. You're gonna line up here. You're gonna take your smoke icon. Uh, you're gonna aim at this corner of this AC unit right here. So take the left side of the icon, put it right there, and you're gonna fire it off. It's gonna fly up, it's gonna bounce, skirt the slant, and right on top. Nice and easy. Our next plant will be between the pyramids. Um, there's only two pretty good molly lineups for this. Um, I haven't been able to find much more. It's a little bit hard to kind of lab them out. So we're gonna go here. You're going to use this as your marker. Take the left HUD icon, and you're going to Molly. fire it off in the air. It's gonna bounce once, off the wall, land right on top of the ball. Nice and easy, okay? Um, we're gonna go back into this corner, okay? You're gonna be using these leaves as your reference point. So you take the tip of that left, the left squiggle Bally. to the top of that plant. It's gonna fly up, it's gonna bounce, and land right next to the bomb. Nice and easy. And then last but not least, we have it from mid right here. We're going to take our left bar, we're gonna aim it at this moving fans. Take the left bar, line it up directly in center of the middle of that, and parallel to the very bottom. You're going to fire that off. It's going to bounce off the back pyramid wall, land right on top of the bomb. That one is quick landing, really hard to block. So those are the three for mid pyramid. Next up, we're going to go for a Spike drop. Uh, left pyramid plant uh, close to A main. We're going to go off with Old Reliable, our number one spot to kind of do all our lineups. Most people don't like to fight lineups. You're going to be using two different markers here. So this is your first one. Uh, between the rope intersection and the top of the bar, take the tip of the left HUD icon, put it at that junction. Molly. You're going to shoot it off. It's going to fly up, immediately bounce, and explode. Okay. Um, the second one from the same spot. Uh, this one takes a bit of time as it bounces a lot more. You're going to use this corner right here where the sky and the pipe meet. You're going to take the tip of the molly icon, put it right there, molly. and shoot it. This one takes a little bit longer because it does bounce, um, but it gives you more time to, you know, play with uh, your mollies to kind of delay and also kind of confuse your opponents. Okay, next one. 
is going to be right in here. this corner again. Uh, your marker this time will be this leaf. So take the corner of your left HUD, put it at the tip of that leaf. Holly. You're going to shoot it off. This one is kind of trick shoddy because it bounces a lot. So it's going to bounce there, bounce off the wall, land right on top of the ball and cover it. Let's you run out a main cave to peek. And then we have two from mid. So jam yourself in this corner. You're going to take your molly icon using the same marker uh, where the plant meets the metal. Take the tip of the molly icon molly. and fire it. This one's going to fly up. It's going to bounce, bounce, and then right on top. Okay. Last but not least, right from here. our mid stack. You're going to be aiming at these little rails right here. So you have these rails and you're gonna have this pillar where the pillar meets the rail. So you're gonna take the squiggle of the left HUD, the top part, line it up at the very bottom of that rail, touching the building, the intersection, and you're gonna fire. This one is very, very tight window because it's gonna bounce off the ledge and it may do stuff like that. So you're gonna have to go back and try it again. Um, this one does require a bit of practice. So once again, right there, you're gonna take it here, fire it. This one, because it lands on the rail for the first bounce, is really tight. But once it lands, it's gonna bounce off and land right on top of the bomb. Um, and that covers right in front of uh, Left Pyramid. Okay, for our last spot on A, I've been kind of experimenting with this one. So right, you're gonna be planning it somewhere around here. Um, ideally, your team should have control of the site. This is kind of like to get the one or two guys lurking or you're just like one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, this should be open, ideally, so you can kind of peek from all. But in case your opponent doesn't know where you're at, let's say you plan it, you run through main and you go up rope. You're gonna wedge yourself in here, sort of like the earlier lineup. But instead of using this, we're gonna be using this as one marker or this little triangle as another. So you can take your molly or your stem beacon icon, jam it in there, or take the tip and line it up at the corner. Molly! And you're gonna fire. So you're gonna run out here. As it's gonna fly, you're gonna see it bounce off the wall, land right on top of the ball. And this lets you cover anybody trying to diffuse it uh, from Hall. Okay, let's move on to B. Uh, starting on B, right we here. have our four spots right here. here. Um, they're all basically all default plants. Uh, the variations will come and go. You kind of have to just figure it out. Once you've played lineups long enough, you kind of get to know when to go high or go low to kind of adjust on the fly. So play around with it and kind of get familiar. But the more and more you do this, the more and more to become second nature. So our first lineup, we're going to go into B main. Line ourselves up with the second pipe on the left. Okay, take your molly icon out, line it up with the first shingle, like this, on the very edge of it, with the right side of the flat line. Molly! And you're gonna fire. Be careful with this one, it may bounce off a random brick. I've had that happen to me a couple times, but it should bounce and land right on top of the bomb. Nice and easy. Okay, from a similar spot, you're gonna jam yourself in this box. You're gonna use the middle of your mall or the line between molly and stim beacon to touch this corner. And then you're going to aim straight up to where you meet with this line right here. So corner, aim straight up, meet with the line, Molly. and fire. This one's going to fly straight up. It's going to bounce and land right next to the bomb. Nice and easy. Okay. There are four from Cannon. Uh, so this is Cannon. Right here. This area here. Um, this one is more commonly used. The issue is that you're pretty exposed to um, elbow and also spawn. So this one requires a lot of communication with your team, so please coordinate with them. So for the first one, you're going to be aiming at this bad boy right here, this little hole in the cannon. Take the top of the smoke icon, put it inside the hole of the cannon, Molly. press fire. It's going to fly up, it's going to bounce off, and land right on top of the bomb. Nice and smooth. Um, the second variation of that is jam yourself in this corner again next to the lobster cage. Instead of using the cannon hole, you're using this leaf. You're going to take the tip of the molly icon, put it at the tip of that leaf, and press the fire. Um, the f hard one about this is that it's kind of trick shotty, so do practice it a lot because it could get stuck up there. Um, but it'll land directly on top of the bomb. Okay, your next options, uh, you're going to be lining up against this broken cannon. Okay, we're going to use this cannon for the first lineup and then this brick for the second lineup. So for the first lineup, take the top squiggle and the bottom, I guess the right side of the left icon, and kind of have it touch the cannon like this. Kind of like nuzzle the, the cannon hole, which sounds really weird. <laughs> and then you're going to fire. Molly. 
It's gonna fly up. It's gonna bounce and cover the ball. As you can tell, this one goes a little bit deeper. So this is what I was saying, like kind of play around with it, kind of be mindful of where you're using it. Cause it may not fully cover the bomb and you kind of have to be able to cover for that uh, discrepancy. Next, you're gonna use this corner. Use the left side of the HUD, line it up right there. And you're gonna fire. This one's gonna fly up, bounce, and cover again. Once again, like I said, be careful of where it's planted. So just be mindful of these things. Um, next one's gonna be from mid at uh, mid stack. So you're gonna line yourself up with this line directly in the center of the bricks. Okay, this will be your landmark. Use the left tip and you're gonna fly. This one will fly up, bounce, and land beautifully right on top of the bomb. Okay, going from elbow. You have two from here, so you have one where you're lined up against this line. You're going to be using this as your marker. So take the tip of the icon, or the tip of the HUD, put it at the corner of that uh, block. Molly. You're going to fire it. This one's going to bounce up. Bounce. Cover the bomb. Okay, nice and simple. Okay, this one, you're going to jam yourself in the corner. You're going to be aiming at the very corner of this right here with the left HUD, like so. And you're going to jump and shoot. Molly! This one requires a little bit of timing because if you mess up, it'll bounce back on you. Um, but it's going to bounce and land right on top of the ball. So simple, right? Okay. Last one for B main is one that I was working with. Um, so you're going to be lined up at this box outside mid. I have to do this usually with swords, uh, like the K-Tac sword, the artisan sword, um, something to kind of reveal the right side of the HUD. So you can kind of see where I'm lining up with this building. This used to work on the old breeze, but because there's that new box in front, you're gonna adjust it maybe that bit to the left. Like, let's say half, maybe less than a quarter of an inch. You're gonna fire the molly. This one I use when I'm rotating to kind of slow them from, from planting. It's gonna bounce and land right on top of default. This covers a lot to force them off the plant. Okay, so that's the main default. And finally, to conclude Breeze, uh, right here. we're gonna have Spike one drops. from here. I recently just kind of looked into planning back so I can kind of play in spawn. You're gonna jump into back spawn here. Your landmark will be where this pole meets the uh, plants. You're going to use the middle, of the left side of the line between smoke and molly. Molly! And a fire. This one's going to fly up and above, bounce, and land right on top of the bomb. This will let you, you won't hear the bomb, so you're going to have to shoot this and kind of go run to nest or go through spawn to kind of get the peak, but this will cover the bomb. And then the next one is if like you're feeling really confident or you want to kind of give yourself, you know, a little highlight reel, you're going to run into nest. You're going to find this plank and this piece of metal right here. You're going to line yourself up with this um, little divot. So you line yourself with this divot, you're going to look up, you're going to use this as your landmark. Pick the left side of the um, line for your molly icon, and then you're going to fly. This one is going to fly up, it's going to bounce, hit the back wall, land right on top of the bomb. The timing with that lets you pretty much run out here, and then you can peek from nest. Nice and simple. All right. That covers all of Breeze. Um, like I said, we're going to go in alphabetical order. I hope this was helpful. Uh, the new Breeze definitely opened up a lot of the map. So, you know, try things out and let me know how it goes. Uh, I'm always interested in learning lineups. Uh, I love meeting fellow Brimstone mains. Uh, please join the Discord so we can discuss things. Um, I just love to talk about the game. Love lineups. I love when people call me cringe, when people call me a nerd. Uh, you know, I, I, I love this stuff. I can't aim to save my life, so I do lineups. Okay? All right, catch you next time, kings and queens. Next time you'll see me, it'll be Chinese New Year. So I wish you guys a happy Lunar New Year. Peace out.